Hello, this is Hakuda Bean, and today we are going to be reading some rules horror. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Basically, we're going to be reading some very interesting horror stories that are is mostly on the rules that are mentioned in these stories. Let's get right into this. This is far more fitting for October, don't you would think so? I was only gone for like a few seconds. The first story of today is called Rules for Moving to Dark Gulch. Hello, Mr. Green. This is Kate Klein from the City Clerk's Office. I'm writing in response to your email informing us of your move to our town. We're excited to have you, but there are a couple of precautions you should take if you want to live in Dark Gulch with us. 1. Make sure to always be wearing sturdy, comfortable shoes. Boots are recommended. The terrain can be unstable and we don't want anything happening to the residents. Hiking boots followed by work boots and common boots are your best options. And a steel toe wouldn't hurt. It would be very bad if your shoes suddenly gave out and you couldn't run anymore. 2. Make sure you purchase a weapon of some sort before your first night here. You've no doubt heard about the unfortunate incident that happened to a new resident from a couple months ago. It was all in the papers. While that, something, while that was something of a special case, we still want to prevent another event like that from occurring, so we mandate that all new residents have a weapon with them when they move in. 3. The gulch itself is filled with a natural beauty. And we have numerous hiking trails of the area, yeah, but do remember that backpacking and overnight camping are allowed by appointment only. And only by on designated paths. Furthermore, new residents must receive a license before they can go down into the gulch for anything other than a group hike. We'll give information about that license at a later date. 4. Please move uptown if you hear the alarm system. If you're in the town square, you can stay where you are. But the gates will close automatically once the alarms are set off. We rarely ever utilize them, but when we do, it's for good reason. Such as an earthquake or a dangerous animal to lose. If you aren't in town square, then uptown is the safest place in time to go in times of emergency. Five. The final general rule is to stay in the area that we call Gulch West. We would include this with the rules for getting your gold permit, but there are some residential areas that where this is applicable as well. We don't have permission from the owners of the land to go further than the trail markers along the bottom of the gulch. It's imperative that you don't trespass. Don't even reach your hand beyond those trail markers. If you somehow manage to lose something on the other side of the divide, inform City Hall and we'll make sure to get back to you. More correspondence will follow this message. As we get more information about your living situation, we'll be developing further lists of rules to ensure your safety while you live here. Please reach out if you have any questions. Best regards, Kate Klein. Second story of the day. If a hand jumps on your face, don't be afraid. The trust family sleepover rules. Looks like you came to my sleepover. Welcome. I'll explain the rules. <clears throat> when you arrive, greet mother with a smile and simply say hi, hello, or any other calm greeting. 1.5 she will take your equipment to my room. 2. Do not ask about father. Never ask about father. 
2.5. If you do, them ib will read um as backwards for mother will be mad. I cannot actually read backwards. I just read how it was spelled backwards. Three, dinner time. I prefer something without meat, like French toast. Three point five. Never ask what the meat is. It's it's tail, numa, I mean nama, human meat backwards. The backwards text is really going to make this way more cringy than it has to be. Four. <clears throat> Never make mother mad. I'm just gonna read it as it is. Unless you don't want to live. Alright. No. Four. After mother hands you meal, thank her. 4.5. Eat all of it and do not ask for more. She'll get mad if you don't. Five. They make butter or mad. Unless you don't want to live. 5.5. 5. If rule 5 is broken, refer to rule 13. Six. Now head to my room and get your items ready. 6.5. You have, if you have a sleeping bag, light toys, pajamas, socks, and slippers on, a sharp object like a knife, and whatever, you'll have a higher chance of survival. 7. If a hand jumps on your face, don't be afraid. That's just Linda. 8. If I'm not, in the, a, if I'm not with you in the room, do not look for me, and refer to rule 10. Nine. If a human being like father is in the room, do not interact with him. Refer to rule ten. If a if a rule says refer to rule ten, here's some backwards text. Wake up, you aren't awake. You risk getting killed. 10.45 Don't exit the uh, room. Don't interact with anyone. And once again, just wake up. The wake up part is backwards. If you're awake not because of rule 10, refer to rule 11. However, if you interact with people or go out of the room, refer to rule 13. 11. This may be the hardest part or not. Look out of the window. If the sky is normal, return to sleep. 11.5. If the sky is a dark red, don't go back to sleep. Instead, you must immediately run to the bathroom. Now check your facial features in the mirror. If they are fine, continue to rule 12. If even one or two are missing, refer to rule 13. Twelve. Close your eyes and check the windows again. Repeat until the sky is normal. 12.5 When the sky returns to the normal, go back to sleep. 13. Where the knife you brought? Grab it and stab yourself in the heart. It's better that. It's better than and what's coming into you. Fourteen. When the alarm rings, you may wake up peacefully. You have survived the hard part. Congratulations. Now head downstairs. Fifteen. Breakfast will be served. Again. I prefer a meat-free meal. Mother will be mad if you ask what the meat is. Don't tell her I told it was human meat. 16. Feed Linda some of your food and give your dish to mother. Just like dinner time, have no leftovers on your plate and no asking for more. 17. Wave goodbye and walk out the door.
We hope to we see you again soon. Now we're going on to the next story called Be Not Afraid. Be not afraid. Greetings, if you're reading this, and I'm sad to say you've died. But it's not all bad. You got into heaven. Isn't that great news? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is there a note? Have you guessed how many dues the angels have and attendees there are in heaven? We are very short staffed. Well, as you wait for an angel to accompany you through the gates, we have written up a list of rules that you should follow when entering and after. Please read these carefully. The list is below. Heaven is full. Rule 1. When greeting the angel that will guide you through the gates, please provide your full name. Rule 2. Count your angel's wings before accompanying them. Please make sure there are at least six. If they have less than six wings, please refuse to accompany them. We, we have reasons to believe something is disguising itself as our angels. We will guide you to the correct path. Rule 3. Be sure to ask the angel their name too. On if they reply with a name such as Oribus, Gabriel, or Paimon, please refuse to follow them and wait for a new angel. We are currently experiencing some undisclosed issues with our angel services, and several souls have been led away from the light on their journey. We've already taken his army. Now we take his creations. Rule 4. Once, it's our, once you enter heaven, please take the badge with your name on it from the angel. Thank you. Rule 5. If you see it on heaven who, who does not have a badge on them, immediately you leave until the nearest guardian angel. Failure to do so can re result in an unknown fate as all who interact have gone missing. Rule 6. In the event you hear someone familiar calling your name, but... I know where to be found, please refrain from following the voice and refer to Rule 9. Rule 7. If you have come across a if you come across a family member who by your knowledge is not deceased, please ignore all their attempts to get your attention. Failure to do so has resulted in dismemberment, going missing, possession, the harvest. You can't stop us. Rule 8. If whilst traveling throughout the afterlife you come across a, a place, drink, food, or animal which is unfamiliar, i.e. has a name you have never heard of, please refrain from interacting with the a item or animal at all costs. Rule 9. Due to the large number of disappearances and sudden rise in human deaths, we have created a sanctuary for lack of a better word. Once our angels learn of the problem and how to solve it, this sanctuary it will be used for all souls to remain safe. Rule 10. In the event that the sky goes was completely black without reason, immediately refer to Rule 9. Don't you see? We are you. Rule 11. It's required that soul sane groups for now to minimize the disappearances. Unfortunately, this has still done little to solve the issues. Rule 12. If you see someone, i.e. angel or human, who has unnatural features such as no face, wonky eyes, or extremely long limbs, limbs, please leave the area as fast as possible and tell the nearest angel. <sighs> Rule 13. Many souls that have experiences have experienced adverse mental health effects, including whispering hallucinations, depression, psychosis, and paranoia. In the event that you experience any of these symptoms, please tell an angel. Rule 14. Electronics are no longer allowed in heaven due to a large number of disappearances believed to be associated with them. I know that these rules may appear to be perplexing, but as long as you follow them, you'll be fine. 
by the time I'm you finish It's reading this and Adolf should be on their way. Before they arrive, please retard the note to the area you found it. Behind the bushes. We are currently addressing the issue of abductions of the souls and should hopefully have it resolved shortly. Archangel Michael. That was an interesting story. Is someone following you? The day is ending! You're finally off work and going home, but something is wrong. Something seems to be behind you. Follow these rules to survive! Do not look back! The urge to look back will creep upon you, but you mustn't look back. Ignore the voices. They're not there to help you. You mustn't listen to a word they say. Don't stop walking. It doesn't matter if you're crossing the road while a car is coming at you. Anything is better than stopping. Do not look at any surfaces that may reflect whatever is behind you. These include mirrors, polished walls, etc. Don't talk to anyone. Worst case scenario, it gets both of you. It's best, not to have, it's best to not have anyone else involved for both their and your survival. Do not try calling anyone. It can still hear you. If it thinks you're trying to get help, then you won't need to look back for it to get you. When you reach your home, lock your door, and go to sleep. It should not bother you as long as you immediately go to sleep. 8. When you wake up in the morning, go to the nearest UDA office. Or for the instant, we'll take care of it. The UDA. That's interesting, and we never learned what UDA means in this case. My friend lent me her laptop, but she also gave me a list of rules. Rule number one. First of all, write down somewhere what you're going to do with my PC. It'll help you with managing your, your time and you actually do what you need to do. Rule number two. When you turn on the laptop, you'll see the profile Janet at and host. Always choose Janet at's profile. The pin code is 08010022022. Rule number three. When you are in the profile, always make sure that proxy or VPN is on. So if you go to internet settings, it will be there. If the VPN isn't in on or if you are not connected to some proxy server, as quickly as possible turn the Wi-Fi off and connect to proxy or VPN first. If you forgot, refer to rule 12. Rule 4. If you make sure that you have a secure connection, you could open the browser and look and search for the term. You will not find me. You can go on with your work after that. Rule 5. If you have to use a service that requires logging, do not ever type in your password directly. If you really need to use an email account or something like that, use this phone authentication app and pray for the best. But I advise not to. It's just not safe. Rule number 6. Under any circumstances, don't plug any type of USB drive into my PC unless you are recovering the system. Rule number seven, don't click on any random folder, especially if it appeared randomly. Rule number eight, don't download anything. You will be traced. Aren't you already traced whenever you download anything anyway? Rule number nine, don't be logged on for too long. It is wasting your time and safety. Rule number 10. If you are done with work, log off from um, any service that you use. After that, delete the entire system and reinstall. It will give you some time to say a notice. Recover or just be using the laptop bag. BIOS is opened by pressing escape. Rule 11. Do not ever use this computer at home, especially at night. Go to the library so you don't draw attention to your apartment or house. Rule 12. If you violate any of these rules, you are probably dead now. Rest in peace, my friend. Huh, that's weird, I murmured. 
Janet wants to play ARG or something? I put a v uh, I put a PC on my desk on a place I usually put mine. I'm glad that she let me into the laptop because I spilled an iced coffee all over my MacBook and I have a lot of stuff have to do. I reach into Anne's laptop bag to find an adapter. I also find a USB stick. Haha, <laughs> the recovery USB. That helped me to stay safe, I say jokingly. I jokingly say it to myself. I don't believe any urban legend, nor some story that isn't reliable. I have liked the PC to the socket that is under the table. This of USB window was laptop, I assume, but maybe she installed Linux on that? I don't know, but I have some experience with it both. I push button to turn this piece of tech on. I'm excited to see a, a logo of some well-known OS. But I see a flashing image of some weird logo that I have never seen before. When the, the system booted, it looked exactly like Windows 7. On the screen, two user er, logins, host and Janet at. Haha. <laughs> I laugh nervously. It's just a coincidence. But I still get to see Janet at the username. Her alarm on the shelf uh, near red is showing 1150. I have to work fast. I'm planning to in open my MS op this online an account and do some research related to mathematics. But when I access the profile, I realize that I'm already connected to my home Wi Fi. That feels really strange because my friend has never been here with the, her PC. Suddenly, I heard something. Was it just a wind? Or a squirrel running on the roof? I lived near her a park, so it would make sense, but that isn't a squirrel. I feel something from behind. It's close. And finally, rules for surviving an anomaly warning. <sighs> Hello, this is Adams County Sheriff's Department. You're receiving this message because our county has been diagnosed with a Class 2 anomaly level by the Federal Anomaly Investigation Division. Do not panic. The, the, the new Bavaria state government, in conjunction with the FAID and National Anomaly Warning Service, has added some guidelines and rules to follow if an anomalous entity has been sighted or confirmed in your area. Follow these rules exactly as they are written, and, and you and your family will be perfectly safe. Any deviations from these rules are likely to result in serious harm, death, or becoming afflicted by an anomaly. Anomaly a watch. This is issued when an anomalous entity has been sighted, but not as of yet and confirmed by a National Anomaly Warning Service. In this stage, the rules are less serious. 1. Stay indoors, but continue to perform your daily activities as normal. Bring any pets or kids inside as well. 2. Keep an eye outside and look for any strange weather conditions and, and, and individuals. If you notice anything, report it to your local police and head down to the bottom. You have officially entered Anomaly Warning. Strange weather and individuals include, but are not limited to, one miss went and it is perfectly clear outside. I'd meant to go. Two shadows from strange apes on their own. Three giant figures walking into far distance. Four, it's raining sideways. Three, keep track of your, your local radio station or NAWS and local police and social media and local police social media accounts. They will author. They will offer th further guidelines and directives. Four, if you are driving, take note of any nearby buildings and structures you may take shelter in. If an anomaly warning is issued, continue to head to your destination while paying attention to the local radio. Five, if you are in a mobile home, please be aware of any, nearby, of any buildings nearby that you may shelter in. Six, if you are outdoors in a public place, face your activities as quickly as possible and prepare to head home. If you feel that it is impossible, be prepared to shelter in the nearest available location. Anomaly Warning An anomalous entity has been detected by the National Anomaly Warning Service, or NAS. An anomaly warning will be issued by the NAS. 
Local police have enrolled lies and are on the hunt for the anomaly. This is where you are at most risk of danger. But continue to follow these guidelines and avoid any rash decisions. If you are at home, barricade all windows, all doors and windows. New Bavaria state law requires all houses to have some method of barricading entrances in the event of an anomaly warning. This may include blocking all doors with furniture or wooden planks or metal bars. Do not leave any doorways uncovered. Stay away from any doors and windows. Turn off all the lights. Keep the light on is an essentially an invitation for anomalous enemies to enter your house. Ensure any light that is visible from outside is shut off, including light bulbs and fires. Turn off all screens and lower the brightness on your phone. 3. Head to your basement. Bring all family members and pets into your basement or shelter if possible. If your house doesn't have a basement, hide in any rooms that don't possess windows. Bring as much food and water as you can. You never know how long an anomaly warning might last. 4. Keep as quiet as possible. Anomalous entities are attracted to large sounds, and they will not hesitate to enter your or house if they hear you. This means most of your pets keep all electronics at the lowest possible volume and speak only in whispers. Avoid any other large sounds. Five, keep a firearm with you. Having a firearm will help you feel secure and protected. This is better for your mental state. Six, if an anomaly has entered your house, refer to the section on anomaly encounters below. If you hear voices in your house or someone speaking to you from upstairs, do not respond back. This is a, this is a common trap utilized by anomalous this entity to lure you out of your hiding spot. 8. Turn off the radio if you hear sag or voices. It's no longer safe to use it. 8. Hmm. If you are in a public place, Every public building in the state is legally required to have an anomaly shelter. Please follow staff directions as they direct you towards the nearest room. Do not lose sight of any family members and do not try to head home. Staff members will give you rules to follow. Please listen to them. 3. Try to form bonds with your fellow shoppers. You might be here for a while. If you are driving outdoors or in a mobile home. 1. Find your nearest building and take shelter. 2. Do not attempt to head home. If you are caught by an anomalous entity, we cannot help you. 3. If the mist begins in this form while you are outdoors, run. Just run as fast as you can until you see a building. If you are caught outside and mist for too long, you will fall asleep and you won't ever wake up again. 4. If you see figures in the distance, it is imperative that you do not head, head towards them. They are likely not human. Continue to do a normally encounter or situation. 5. Do not step in any shadows. They will drag you into some faraway place and it is not pleasant. 6. If you have a firearm, bring it with you. 7. Do not trust anyone you see, even if you think you know them. They might not be the person you know anymore. 8. You might see missing or long dead family member. This is a trick. Don't go near them no matter how much they beckon you. You'll be dragged away and we cannot help you. Anomaly Encounter If an anomaly has entered your building, 1. Stay silent. Do not make any noise whatsoever. It will hear you. 2. Silent dial 930 on your phone and switch it off. This will alert FAID agents to your location and they will attempt to neutralize the anomalous entity. Refer to the section on law enforcement encounters below. 3. If you hear any static or whispers on your radio, this means that anomalous entity is nearby. The louder static and whisperous, the closer it is. 
Do not respond. It will be linked to your location. Four. Do not pray. Whatever religion you follow, absolutely do not pray. Do not even think about praying or God. Anonymous entities hate prayers and can sense their origin. Continue to keep silent and think about something else you enjoy. 5. If the anomalous entity has managed to enter your basement, we're sorry, and we hope you didn't suffer. If you encounter an anomaly outside, 1. Do not run if it doesn't see you. Stay put and stay silent. It will likely move on unless you cause attention. 2. Silent dial 930 and alert FAID agents to your location. 3. Once the anomalous entity leaves, make your way to the nearest building as quietly and quickly as possible. 4. If an anomalous entity has seen you, run. If you have, an, if you have a firearm, attempt to delay it by shooting at it. Run to the nearest building you see and attempt to lose it. Please remain aware of any shadows or mists in the vicinity while you escape. Law Enforcement Encounters Our department's officers as, as, as well as paid agents are trained and equipped to deal with anomalous entities. While you are hiding, it's, very, it's these brave men and women who will be dispatched to neutralize them. While law enforcement is dedicated to ensuring you and your family safety, there are some guidelines on how to deal with our officers. One, if officers have entered your home to deal with the anomalous entity, do not exit your hiding spot or attempt to speak to the officers, even if it sounds like the anomaly has been neutralized. Stay in the basement. Our officers have been ordered to shoot any individuals they see run in they a, a see run into uh, for their own protection. This applies to outdoor situations as well. Two, none of our officers will ask you to leave your basement unless the nauseous and the anomaly warning. If an officer invites you to leave your hiding spot, stay quiet and keep your firearm nearby. It is trying to lure you out. 3. If you encounter armed officers while outside, do not go near them. They have also been in order to shoot any individuals they see. They will not help you or take you to safety. Four. All officers will be wearing gas masks or hazmat suits. If you see an officer without this equipment, that is an anomaly. 5. Do not attempt to contact the police using radio. Police will not use radio during an anomaly warning. If you have spoken to any voices on a police frequency, leave your location immediately. 6. Impeding an officer during an anomaly warning is a federal and state offense. Don't do it. If you aren't shot, you will be facing multiple years of jail time. 7. All roads leading out of town and have been barricaded by police or National Guard. Do not attempt to leave. You must it reiterate. You will be shot. When anomaly warning has ended. 1. Do not leave your hiding spot. Until anomaly warning has ended, the NOS will notify citizens on all its social media channels as well as by text message. Please be patient. Anomaly warnings have known to last up to a whole week. While it's highly unlikely this might happen, staying patient will help you and your family stay safe. 2. You will never receive even a notification by radio. Do not trust it. 3. Once the anomaly warning has ended, it's safe to return upstairs as well as to interact with any police officers you see. If your house has been damaged, please alert the new Uba via a Department of Emergency Management. They will assist with any disaster relief. 4. If you have any injured or dead family members or companions, contact 911. <clears throat> 5. If you find a dead anomalous entity, call 930. Faded agents will arrive and dispose of the corpse. Do not touch it or go near it.
Hmm. We thank you for your patience and understanding. We understand this might be this may be frightening for you, but as long as you stay calm and alert, everything will be okay. We hope you oh, and your family stay safe, and as always, have a great day. And that was Rules Horror for today. Some very e spooky e e e stories, very e fitting for October. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.